Good morning, fishing fans. This is Matthew Upton from Ross, and we are coming back at you today. It is uh, July Tuesday, July twenty sixth, and we're looking once again at the northeast offshore of Cape Hatteras to Massachusetts area. Um, first of all, looking at sea surface temperature, and then we're going to look at ocean color chlorophyll data. And this is mainly data from the last two to three days. Um, it got cloudy today. So this is mainly data from Sunday, Monday, I do believe. So we're taking a look at what's going on. I've marked in some, the flow of the water with arrows. Obviously this, the warmer waters, your oranges and reds, cooler waters, your, your blues, greens, and yellows. And what we've seen over the last week or two is the sea surface temperature is really starting to warm finally especially in the south. Um, but basically, you know, what we're looking at overall here is we have some big tournaments starting up um, last, last week, this week. This week got the Tri-State going on. Uh, later this week is a big fish classic, the Huck, Huck Tournament. Um, we got Stone Harbor. We've got boat builders out of, um, out of Oregon Inlet later this week. So we got some moving into august here we got some bigger tournaments coming up a lot of the weather's starting to break i hear so there's going to be a lot of people fishing this next few few days into the weekend so order roths and give us a call um and and we'll dial in a little better but let's look let's look at the overall conditions right now what we've noticed and really track the last you know month or so we've been talking about this large clockwise warm cork golf stream eddy now this water is up to 81 80 degrees and it looks really good right now um, south oceanographer to hydrographer to beach you got a smaller counterclockwise rotating eddy that is um that's come off you know shed off this larger eddy and this will this will move its way um this will move its way to, to the west here and become hopefully a factor in August for some of you guys fishing in the you know, White Mullen Open in two weeks and then the Mid-Atlantic. So look, you know, what we're really having to keep an eye on these last month or so is you know, what features are there in the Hudson to, to Norfolk Canyon area? Because that's what, that's what um, guys are keeping an eye on. And there's really not a lot, a lot of strong features. I know fishing has been frustrating for some people, um, especially for Marlin. It's been slow and scattered. We've got a few, a few promising things coming up. We've got a counterclockwise rotating eddy between Hudson and Toms. Smaller clockwise rotating eddy off of Wilmington. Looks like you get a nice filament of bluer water, um, warmer water coming in off of the Gulf Stream down here off of North Carolina. And some crazy things going on the, on the opposite side of the stream. But this water here, uh, you know, between Hudson and, and Washington, Norfolk now is up to, you know, 78, 79, 77 degrees, even inshore up to 79, 80 degrees. So the inshore tuna fishing has been a little bit better lately, I've heard. Um, kind of a rare uh, clockwise rotating eddy off of, um, off of Cape May here that's holding some, some decent conditions. Got a lot of um, upwelling, cooler, greener, upwelled water off of the coast, New Jersey and Maryland, Delaware. Keep an eye on that. You probably want to get out of that water for some, some of your better chances further offshore, like 15, 20 fathoms or so. You know, up, even up north here, there's a you'll see in this ocean color chlorophyll data that I'll show next. A lot of blue to blended blue water pushed way in shore off of Block Island, Martha's Vineyard. You know, this is this is white marlin. This is this is tuna, even wahoo and dolphin inshore. Um, you see it's blue water eddy, the, the warm core eddy out, way out east, looking good in hydrographer to 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 beach. 
even even Block Canyon here and the fishtails south, south of the fishtails, you know, you got to get got to you're going to want to avoid this green turbid water coming down. Um, but once you get out of there, you know, the water doesn't look too, there's not a lot of blue water in the Hudson to Norfolk area, but um, there's some promising blended blue and maybe some blue green mix. And it's starting to clear up a little bit inshore as well, which is, which is decent for some, for some fishing action. Even though that warm water is pushing in off of uh, Oregon Inlet, and up toward Virginia Beach, it is some, there's only a sliver of blue water, a lot of it's green. So keep an eye on that. You're gonna to wanna to try to avoid that turbid green water and get to your cleaner green to, to blue green to blue water there. So that's about it, you know, we're gonna start almost August. It's hard to believe it's almost August, but uh, we'll be keeping track of the conditions much, much, um, much more diligently th this next month with the bigger tournament starting up. So. Well, good luck, everybody, um, and we'll talk to you again next week, probably. Thank you.